We have arrived at our ski vacation and it's so nice to get away from the house and especially with COVID, we've been stuck there a long time. So this just feels so nice. It's a total blessing to be in the mountains and see this amazing thing. Um, not sure if you can see there. That is my view from the kitchen kitchen windows here. So um, we've just rented this condo and the great thing about renting a condo is then you don't have to eat out because it has a kitchen. So I'm just going to go through a little bit of what I brought with us for meals. So um, I have in the freezer here brought the quesadillas, some frozen pizzas, the breakfast burritos, um, and what I have left in here is a spaghetti sauce and the um, zucchini sausage soup. Last night I made the tortellini sausage skillet, so I'll show you that. It turned out to be so good. It was delicious. It was a new invention recipe, and it was amazing, so I'm definitely making that one again. Whole family loved it, and my husband was like, yeah, this is a big hit. So, um, and then here I have in the sink our chili. So I don't have a slow cooker with me. I usually do it in the slow cooker, but we'll just be doing it on the stovetop today for lunch so that my family that's skiing, when they come in, they can have really hearty chili. And I've got some buns to go along with that. And tonight we're going to be doing spaghetti which reminds me i need to take that out so i'm taking out the spaghetti sauce right now i'm glad i shot this video otherwise i might have forgotten that until later and then i would have to thaw it in the sink like i do with the chili anyway so um there we go so spaghetti sauce is going to be for supper later today we're having that with salad um i had pre-washed the lettuce so I've got that here, got the pre lettuce all pre-washed from what I did at home, brought with us, and I got some goat cheese, some baby tomatoes, some cucumber, purple onion that I already cut, so avocado. Anyway, so that will be our dinner tonight, and then tomorrow is the sausage zucchini soup for lunch. I've also got the frozen quesadillas for lunch as well, and then um, tomorrow night the kids are going to have frozen pizzas and my husband and I are going to go to a restaurant which is going to be such a nice treat. And the last day that we're here we're planning to do leftovers because I know there will be leftovers of several of the meals and we're also going to eat leftovers of some of the breakfast things and some of the snack things that I brought um, because we don't want to bring too much home. Uh, we don't have a lot of room in the vehicle with eight of us. <laughs> so I also brought some really, really easy things like tomato rice soup. I've got four cans of this and some craft dinner. I know it's not healthy, but the kids will, will like it. And then I've got these Mr. Noodles packages. They don't take up a lot of space and the kids can use them for late night snacks or for that extra day when we're just using up things for leftovers and eating um, what we've got left. So what else have we got? Lots of snack food too. So it should keep us fed for the days that we're here. And um, that is how I survive with freezer meals when we go on our ski vacations. It's a little chilly, but it's really, really beautiful. <laughs> And I forgot to mention that if you want to see the secrets for how I packed food for our big family for this ski trip, I have a video on how I pack and some of my tips and secrets for doing that to save space and money.